due to extenuating circumstances, uh, I had family come into town and I'm going to be spending time visiting with them and not being able to get this tent out into the actual field. Uh, but once again, it is raining. I'm giving this the uh, third test to see if I've got the seam sealed. Uh, you can see some of the white residue from, from the seam seal. Uh, hopefully, I actually got it sealed up. I know it's not as pretty with that white residue on it, but uh, man, this really is a nice tent. I, I really hope I've got all of the, uh, the leaks fixed. Um, I still have really high hopes for this tent. I still really love the design of it. I just got to get it to where it quits leaking. Uh, so far, I have spent a whopping $10 on uh, spray and seam sealant from local Walmart. I probably could have saved money or maybe got some better product somewhere else, but Walmart's what I have local to me, so that's what I got. Anyway, uh, it's raining again. Going to give this test number three. See if I can uh, get this to quit leaking. And hopefully, with the family in town, maybe still be able to uh, get a test done this summer with the rain. Okay, so we are now at three hours of the slow, steady rain. Uh, about to open her up and see what we've got. See if we've got any issues. Surely by now... If it was going to, I would think it would have. So, let's see what we got. And we're in. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, this side's dry. I got a little bit here that came in with me from my hands, so that doesn't count. Uh, oh, it's dry. All right, so I think I finally got her fixed up. Excellent. I am going to keep monitoring it and keep checking it out. And if this rain continues, I might just sleep in my yard out here tonight. By the time I got done with all of my uh, family arrangements and everything I had to do, obligations, uh, ended up being dark, 1030. Uh, hasn't rained since uh, about, I guess, 2 o'clock this afternoon. Anyway, I decided I was going to sleep in the tent and uh, give it the old try. Uh, not supposed to have any weather or anything tonight, so it's not really any sort of test other than to just uh, sleep in it and see what kind of condensation I get, I guess. Um, anyway, I was not able to move it into actual wilderness. It's still just sitting in my backyard, but uh, it is what it is. I was hoping for some rain. I was hoping to actually be in the wild, but I just got what I got. That's all I can get. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Uh, so I just woke up. It's uh, 5.45 in the morning. Uh, made it to the night okay in the Trekker 1. Uh, it didn't rain or anything, so... Unfortunately, the 20% chance we had, uh, nothing ended up happening, so, uh, yeah, so it was just sleeping in a tent, uh, no extra way to test anything. Uh, yesterday, it rained for a little over two hours, a uh, slow, steady rain, had, uh, zero leaks after doing the seam seal, uh, for the second time, so... Apparently the first time I didn't do a very good job on it, the second time I did, I uh, got it. So, uh, for the price of the tent 
and for the price of materials to do the same seal, which was $10, the tent is $44 if you have trekking poles and $64 at the time I'm filming this if you don't have trekking poles and you, and you get the trekking poles with it. So at the high end, $64 plus uh, $10 for supplies from Walmart for the uh, waterproofing. Uh, I think you're still, I think you're still well covered. I mean, you're talking $74. Um, if you do have tracking poles, it's even less. If you have tracking poles, you're looking at a uh, $54. $54 for a sub two pound tent. Uh, come on. I mean, you're not going to beat that anywhere, I don't think. Uh, now let's see, for... Uh, the pros, I love the size of the tent, uh, the design of the tent, and the weight of the tent. Uh, the design, super easy to set up, super quick. Uh, I like the minimalistic part of it. Uh, the weight, like I said, less than two pounds. Um, I like having the big vestibule. Now, the things I don't like about the tent uh, were the fact that I did have to do the same seal. And uh, River Country Products is uh, going to be looking into that. They're going to be fixing that uh, with the video that I showed them. And the emails we've had back and forth, uh, they said that they were going to be adding more seam seal. And that it would be uh, just a matter of time until they were able to get that done. They're working on their Trekker 2.2 uh, right now because it is a more popular tent than the Trekker 1. Uh, so that brings me to the next con, which is uh, a pro and a con. I, I like the size of the tent, but at the same time I can see where if you get stuck in the rain for several days... Uh, the size of the tent will become a hindrance. Um, if you had to live because of bugs or uh, insects or you know your mosquitoes or whatever, if you had to live with your mosquito netting on the door right there, I oh, can't really see it. Sorry. Uh, if you had to live with that closed, like I had to last night and the vestibule open it does get a little small um, now if you can close your vestibule and open up your bug netting and not have to worry about mosquitoes then uh, that really helps it really does but that would be a con is if it was heavy rain or heavy bugs and you had to live inside the small area without being able to use your vestibule so that's where the size becomes a con. Uh, one last thing is I did get condensation, which it did rain yesterday. Uh, very high humidity all night long. Uh, so there is some condensation. Let me see if I can see it for you guys. Uh, okay. You can see we got condensation here. So, uh, it never dripped on me. I never got wet. Uh, when my arm would touch the tent or, you know, whatever I could feel it was damp. Uh, I am really surprised with how well this thing is designed with this whole back panel being netting and the whole front being netting I'm surprised that uh, I did get any compensation but you can see so oh, not an issue uh, really I mean like I said I didn't get wet it didn't cause any problems for me I didn't not sleep because of it but anyway uh, if you're willing to spend $10 to do the seam seal or if you're willing to wait 
uh, a couple more months for them to get the issues fixed with the Trekker 2 and then to repair the Trekker 1. Highly recommend the tent. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm glad that uh, oh, Rooster's telling me it's time to get up. I'm glad I had the opportunity to do the test. Um, I'm glad I found that there was some shortcomings and that uh, they're going to be fixed. All in all, all in all, I had a lot of fun with this. Uh, I do like the tent overall, and I recommend it overall. You just have to maybe do a little bit of work with it. Anyway, thank you guys.